Good morning guys, welcome back to Quintet and the Gun Guy. Today I'm shooting at the S Hunters Browning National Shooting Champs, I think. I think that's the title. Anyway guys, I got selected to shoot in the uh, Clay Pigeon competition. So let's see how it's going to go today. Hopefully well, hopefully I'm going to be switched on. But I'm going to take you guys with and um, yeah, let's see how it goes. 100 clays, haven't, haven't done so many yet. Hoping for the best. Okay guys, so it hasn't been a good one just yet. I uh, started at range 11, so it's 11, 12, 13, and they're going to hike all the way back. So I'm 13, very tricky one. Um, 13 is actually all the way on top of the little copy here. Um, yeah, very tricky. Wind was absolutely horrendous from 11, 12, and 13. So hopefully it's going to go better as we go down into the valley, back all the way to one. So it's quite a trick. Hopefully it's going to go my way now. Let's go. Two and four, go! Okay, four and two. Go! Okay, 
So what a freaking long day. So we started on top of the little copy as I said earlier. Um, so that was on range 11. Uh, then we had to go all the way down into the clue all the way past those cars there. Um, <laughs> finish shooting there and then work our way all the way back up again. Um, so yeah, missioning down to the clubhouse at the moment. It was a hard day shooting 100 clays. Maintaining that concentration isn't a joke. Um, and today wasn't even that hot. Um, it is September. So yeah, it's, it warmed up nicely. This morning was quite cold, well, very cold. Um, but yeah, otherwise, it's been a hot one. It's been a lacquer one. Lots of lessons learned. But I think concentration being the main one again. Yeah, it's just maintaining that concentration level. Yeah, it's not easy. Anyway guys, let's see what the scores are like. I think um, I shot with a group of five. So in my group of five, there were four ladies. And I think they actually wiped the floor with me. Um, <laughs> they shot really well. And we'll see with, um, with the scores um, exactly how well that they did. Um, but yeah, I think quite a bit better than, than what I did. And it's great to see ladies on the range, shooting well, kicking ass, and kicking my ass. Well done. And that's it guys, that was an absolutely brilliant day on the range, a bit frustrating and conditions and clays that I wasn't used to, um, but yeah, very, very cool. Um, when making a big difference, especially higher up on the, on the copy. Um, unfortunately, you guys couldn't see the clays. I really need to sort out a cameraman, just so you guys can see the action as well. What I did is, I just added on all the uh, doubles that I shot on the day. Um, I didn't want you guys to watch through all of my shots because that's going to get really boring. That was, I think, 12 ranges. It's just, it's just going to get too much. Um, so what I wanted to do is show you guys the doubles because that's where the exciting part is um, and that's where I struggled the most at. Most guys won't show you where they miss. I don't mind. <laughs> Yeah, it does suck. It sucks missing. I realized again how much I need to grow in the sports. Uh, very, very new at clay vision shooting and basically just shotguns overall. Um, we did a um, sporting clays course, very closely re resembles a compact uh, sporting clays. Um, brilliant, brilliant fun. It's nice to go to different rages. Um, and then different scenarios. Uh, the cool thing is that I haven't done before or haven't done much yet before is clays coming from towers um, from higher up. Uh, there were quite a few scenarios like that. That was quite an adjustment for me. I've never done that before. Uh, or I've done it once before at, at Wattle Springs. Um, so shooting from, from higher up, that was a bit different. Um, yeah, so Loads of lessons to be learned. I realized again that I absolutely suck at shotgun shooting. But 
you need to sometimes take stock of the progress that you've made as well. So don't just focus on the negative, focus on some of the positives and then remember to have fun. I think that's the one thing that I don't do as much as I should is focus on having fun. And then with fun comes that instinctive shooting ability as well um, that I think a lot of guys miss like me. I'm very hard on myself, so I want the performance that I've got on the other disciplines but it's not fair i've only been doing this for the last year basically thereabouts um not even the whole year so just making it to the nationals of the s hunters champs is already a massive leap for me um scoring was absolutely horrendous i scored 52 out of a hundred so it gives me a 52 uh, percentile which basically puts me just below average or properly, properly below average for the day. But remember, that's the best guys in South Africa under the S.A. Hunters um, clay pigeon shooting category. So not bad overall. The ladies that I shot with did kick my ass properly. But these aren't normal ladies. They can really handle a shotgun properly. Really, really well done, ladies. Um, yeah, I've still got loads to grow. And as I said in the video as well, it's so great seeing so many youngsters and ladies shooting competitively like that. That's where the sport needs to grow the most. Um, just getting the family involved, getting friends involved, um, and then the ladies helping each other out. I, I saw a lot of camaraderie with the ladies as well. Yeah, anyway guys, that was the video. Hope it wasn't too boring watching me miss the whole time. Because if I had shown you all the shots that I did, you would have watched me miss half of them. That's ridiculous. <laughs> anyway guys, hopefully I'm going to grow from here and you might see better news sometime. Yeah, if you follow me on social media, you saw that I did a 42 score out of 50. I think that was about two, two, three weekends ago. Interesting to note is I scored 42 out of 50. Now I scored 52 out of 100. So with 100 players more, I only scored 10 plays more, which is absolutely insanity. Just shows you that sometimes you're okay and sometimes you suck tremendously. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys later for a review again. Carry on with my long-term review series. Cheers, guys.